Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is this week's uh, Spider S&P 500 Spider ETF review from an Ichimoku Cloud Chart perspective. So let's kick off with the first uh, chart, the S&P 500 itself, Spider. From a weekly cloud chart, we can see uh, we've had a down week last week. We're back testing the old highs for resistance. We had this fantastic uh, huge double bottom base formation here in 2016. Broke out from that, retested it, now busy retesting it again. So the levels to watch out for is two, uh, 209 and 2111 on a weekly cloud chart basis. Uh, the top end of the cloud here is significant support zone. We turn to the daily. In a wee bit of trouble here, prices below the cloud. So we could see more downside, and we can see these levels that it's, we expect it to test in the current downtrend. So watch out for 210 or 209 as a, a potential area for a rebound. And then from there on, we could see a rebound from these levels back up to the bottom end of the cloud uh, on a daily basis. Okay. Financial services ETF, top end of the cloud, yes, yeah, significant resistance. We need a breakout or a breakdown at this level. So if it breaks out and finds support at the top end of the cloud, we could go longer. If it starts to break down here, yeah, we're looking at the bottom end of the cloud is the next area of support. So that's the shorting opportunity to go back down there. Weekly cloud, fighting old cloud chart resistance levels here. So we could see a consolidation back down to the top end of the cloud for support. Okay. But it's consolidating at the moment on a daily chart, uh, chart basis. Okay. Materials uh, ETF, XLB, a wee bit of trouble here. Price actions below the cloud. Watch out this very thin cloud level support here. It's looking for support around those these areas here. So I would think we're going to see a, a relief rally for the year and around the 45, the dips below here and find, retest that old high for support and coincidentally that corresponds well with the um, old highs here. Yeah. So we could expect a rebound coming through here yeah, at the 45 area and then a, a rally back to the bottom end of the cloud more towards the end of the year or higher. Okay. The, uh, those are the um, leverage ETFs. So Real estate, yeah, weekly, looking for support at the top in the cloud. I'll be a buyer here below 30 if it tests support at that area on a daily. Yeah, look like it's going to get to the 29.50 area, this old uh, cloud chart support areas now. And that corresponds well with the uh, weekly support zone. So look for uh, entries around 29.95 for a rebound from that area if support comes in there. So one needs to look at the candles and, and the price action exactly at that uh, support zone. Okay. Consumer discretionary. Yeah, looking weak. Potential next stop for this weakness is 76.66. Yeah, at the top end of the cloud. Fail that. We'll be looking at the bottom end of the cloud yeah, as the next key support area, yeah. but it looks like it's coming back to retest the old highs here, yeah, the old uh, cloud chart support levels for support, top in the cloud, the weekly cloud still indicates upside because the cloud's moving higher. We haven't seen the twist at the front to show downside, but we are looking for support to come in back here at 76.66 and 73.94, 74 zone. So watch out for those areas for support to come back. And yeah, also, Dipping below the cloud, note that these are the significant weekly cloud chart support areas, so we could expect a rebound on the daily chart to come in around these areas. Consumer staples also looking for support at the weekly cloud. We could see weakness back down to the uh, weekly cloud chart support zones, as we highlighted last week. Overall trend still down, so there's still uh, risk of weakness. And yeah, we can see nicely he's looking for support there at the uh, 5197 zone. So if it retests those zones this week and rebounds from there, then we look like we're going back up to the bottom end of the daily cloud for resistance testing there. But so far the weekly, it's at close to significant support zone on a weekly cloud chart. So watch out for the rebound 
at that uh, weekly cloud chart level. Energy sector, nice steady uptrend on a weekly basis. Front cloud is looking strong. Top end of the cloud, yes, is the support zone on a daily basis. Look how nicely it rebounds from the, the cloud every time. So it looks like it can dip back here and look at it at around 68 as it looks to support the bottom end of the daily cloud on its way up. But these double lines there, the significant support areas that's holding up. So at price action, we might see this, uh, uh, you know, a dip right down below and then the buyers come back in as this is a whole cluster of support right above the old cloud chart support levels, yeah. Financials here also making a double top formation here, fighting old highs, old resistance areas. Could see a rebound back to the bottom in the cloud here for support. So there's uh, some short term weakness potential there. And you can see they, th that uh, those high levels are old highs are struggling with of November last year, actually. So it's, uh, it's got a significant area to get past. Front end of the cloud still looking strong. So we either need to see a breakout of that resistance zone or if it's not going to go higher, we might move back down to the bottom end and rebound from there for the year end. Similar type price action we've had here, if the resistance holds. But that is significant resistance holding there, uh, holding that sector under pressure there. But from a daily chart perspective, it's getting pretty close to a rebound potential here when it gets to the bottom end of the cloud. Healthcare there in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it's looking for support at all cloud chart support zones. The next level to watch for is 67. And that 67 combines, uh, coincides very well with the significant support area at the bottom end of the cloud. Yeah, okay. All right. So look for support to rebound yeah, at the bottom end of the cloud. Industrial, holding up old highs here is now the new support zone. Top end of the cloud here is a significant support zone. So if there's any weakness back down to the top end of the cloud here, that could be a nice entry point. But so far, support's holding up there. What's the daily telling us? We spot a trouble here we're in the, uh, underneath the cloud. So the front cloud indicates more downside. So it's most likely we will we'll be testing these 56 uh, zones and the bottom end of the cloud here yeah, is the first area to look for support. And then this uh, 53, 53 area, 52. So we could see this dip back down before it goes on for the year end rally. So most likely that we're gonna come back and retest this cluster of support to see how strong that is before we go in for the year end rally. Technology uh, also steady uptrend, looking for consolidation back down to retest the old highs for support. You can see the MACD, MACD cell signals come through. The daily basis floating along the top in the cloud. So we could see a, what we want to see is this dip in into the cloud to find support here at the top end of the cloud here, and then rebound from that area. But there's been significant support here for quite a couple of months now. So we could see this trying to break out to retest the, uh, retest the support here before it rallies towards the end of the year. And then utilities here yeah, also trying to grind its way back to the bottom end of the cloud. That's the next key resistance zone. So, so far it's, it's moving higher. And we saw a nice little rebound from old cloud chart support levels here at the top end of the cloud. And uh, the resistance levels to watch out for is yeah, about 50, 49, 50 zone before it's gonna find some weekly resistance and maybe bring that rally to a stop. Okay. So the two leverage ETFs, Ultra S&P and the Ultra Pro, they can also see very similar situation, obviously, to the S&P 500. So we're looking for that dip back into the old cloud chart support levels and then a rebound from there. So watch out this current week. We might see this low year 209 tested and then rebounding for the year end rally from, from that zone. But overall, Daily picture, not very nice because we are under the cloud price action. We should test these lows for uh, support to see if support will hold at these key areas. Okay. 
thank you everybody and if there's any questions and uh, you know just uh, email me at cloudcharttrader at gmail.com thanks for your time and uh, happy trading